quite often you have to pass the arguments and you should know how to uh, invoke your programs which will accept the arguments so if your program should be capable of accepting the arguments you have to import a python package called sys okay and uh, sys have an array with the name argv um, and we can use argv to read all the arguments that are passed to the program so in this case i can say hello plus sys dot argv of 1 which means the first argument to the program if i say 0 it will give the program name i can also say from argv of 0 okay now this program takes the arguments and the way you can pass the arguments is by going to run edit configurations if the program is chosen automatically because we ran earlier, you can directly pass runtime parameters by getting in there. If you don't see something like this, let's say, let me delete this. I deleted it. There is nothing now. I can also say plus and then Python. Okay. We can give the name. In this case, I'm giving the name as hello world. And then the script path. So there is only one program in this getting started. So I'm choosing this uh, program. And then I'm saying world. Apply. Okay. Once you update the runtime parameters, you can right click and say run hello world. And you can see hello world from my program name. So argv of zero will give the program name. So this will validate that you can actually develop Python based applications using PyCharm and also I have covered a bit about how you can actually pass the runtime arguments also to the applications and from here you can start learning Python a bit more in detail and you should be able to develop Python based applications using IDEs such as PyCharm.